I'd like to set up some divisional playoff games for the yeah. coming weekend. Um, what what uh, do you have any other film soliloquies or speeches that might uh, that you could uh, deliver right here on the Rich Eisen show that is specific to any of the teams uh, for this coming football weekend? Kyle. Well, the um, the underdogs jump out, of course. Okay. And uh, the Rams have a really tall order, really tall. And, um, you know, I was looking into this, and Jared Goff versus Aaron Rodgers, two Cal guys, it's probably going to be Goff. I, there's a nugget there where uh, in, since, since 2016, in freezing cold temperatures games, Aaron Rodgers is 10-0 and with 25 touchdowns and one interception. Jared Goff has thrown five interceptions and no touchdowns. He's one and one. It's a miserable comparison, yes. and that's absolutely perfect for a motivational speech. So you know what I would do? What do you got? I would do something I've done before a couple of years back. I would do the Norm Dale from Hoosiers, and I would say, I would break out the tape measure, yes. and I would say the goalpost right here, it's, it's the same height as the one we have in SoFi Stadium. The sideline is the same distance from the end zone. It's the same, same distance, 10 yards. I would get the tape measure out. I did that a few years ago when the Colts went into Arrowhead during the Andrew Luck last run, Frank Reich, and they had such a young team, and the Arrowhead was so imposing, and I did, I did the Norm Dale speech about let's go out and get these guys. It did not work for the Colts, and I don't know if it worked for the Rams, but any time you listen to the Hoosier speech, it gets the blood going. And, and you tell Aaron Donald that you want to know what flavor or gum Aaron Rodgers is chewing, right? <laughs> <laughs> find it right and you go up to Aaron and he'll just look at Sean McVay and just say dentine something like that oh god I love that movie that's good oh, I would um that's it you know the I mean, one last year was it, the for the younger audience is is the wolf of Wall Street is it is that I'm not leaving <laughs> and I would say that that's more of like a favorite that's more of a, a favorite whoever wants saying you know they're kind of ripe to be knocked off they're not so hot right now right I would that would probably have to put that one on the Saints because the Drew Brees, I'm not believing. That would be about his retirement. <laughs> right. The show goes on. <laughs> the playoffs are my home. That's that's Drew Brees to the team about the idea that the Bucks are going to come in and Tom Brady is going to end his season and his career. I would say that would be a. Uh, uh, the Wolf of Bourbon Street, we can call it. Yes, Wolf of Bourbon Street, everybody. I love that. Um, have you ever used the always be closing speech? Have you done that one yet from Glen Gary, Glen Ross? Have you done that one yet? You see that watch? That watch costs more than your car. I have not done it, Rich. It's, um... Who would that be good for? The always be closing. Who would that be for? Coffees for closers. Who would that be for right now? Would that be for Tom Brady? Tom Brady, the Brady. ultimate closer. The yeah. ultimate closer, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That he would just look at. He'd look at everybody and 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 show off the watch, right? That the, mm -hmm. the rings, right? Good team. Who gives a bleep? Good quarterback. Bleep you. Go home and be with your fans. <laughs> you want to work here? Close. I like it, Rich. I, I like Brady. it. And this, Green the juice place, course, is for know, closers. Is, is steak knife. <laughs> yeah, the I, place, you're out of the playoffs. I'd like it. And then, you know, uh, so who, who would be the machine, right? I mean, that would be Br Breeze be the machine. He's past his mm -hmm, prime, mm -hmm. right? I don't know. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.